Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's so cool. I'm Greg. Can you call us on Instagram? Please. There's like one percent of you that do that. What's the matter with you? Freaking morons. Is that how you get people to follow you by calling them freaking morons? Yep. Cool. I thought I was doing correct. Yep. Today. Pipe Piper did that. He really wasn't playing a pipe. He just turned around and said, "Follow me, you freaking morons." Today, uh, we were acting to a video. Video. What was that? I don't know. I was just wanted to say it as fast as I could so it sounded like maybe... Y'all, y'all beautiful people on Twitter and Instagram and everywhere, you're sending me messages nonstop about reaction choices. You know, I, I have no idea what we're reacting to until I sit in this chair and we start filming. Oh, he does. You're not helping. He's a liar. That's not true. Uh, this is from the man company. Oh! This is real. I like it already. We're listening to some poetry. The man company. The man poetry. Man poetry. Hickory dickory dock. This the is mouse called... ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse fell down because he died. This is called Gentleman Kise Kehiti Hai. And it's Ayush, uh, Ayushman Karana doing the poetry. So this is, this is a poetry. Poetry reading, really? I believe. A poem on what makes a true gentleman, written by Gaurav Salanki and recited by Ayushman Karana. Yeah, so it's somebody else's poem, Ayushman's reciting it. I think we've seen... Who did we see do poetry? Big B? No. You sure? Kulki. Oh yeah, Kulki. Kulki did it. I think it was her poetry though. I actually... Seagull Baby's over on Patreon for me over there. You wanted me to do some poems. I'm doing it. You asked me for that. I just wanted to let you know about it. Red. Blue. A shoe. Uh, <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Uh, anyways, so I'm excited. Something different. Here we go. Gentlemen, kiss a kid. You know, Marth is a stereotype. But he's a macho. He's a little bit of a girl. 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 पंजाबी में गाता हूं ऐसा मैन टाई बांधना मुझे नहीं आता पर खाना ठीक ठाक बनाता हूं ऐसा मैन तुम्हारी इंग्लिश स्लो है या फास्ट है मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता तुम गे हो स्ट्रेट हो तुम्हारी क्या कास्ट है मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता आई नो दैट दी एज हैव टोल्ड यू टू प्ले टू कूल एंड फादर आस्ट यू टू बी डिसिप्लिन एज एफ यू ऑलवेज इन स्कूल उन्होंने बोला जेंटलमैन बनो बट ये भी बोला कि मैन का जेंटल होना खराब है क्योंकि तुम्हें तो ऑनर बचाना है जादू वाला परफ्यूम लगाना है उसी से लड़कियां तुम पे मरेंगी पर मरेंगी क्यों उन्हें मरना नहीं चाहिए मैं जहां हूं जहां खड़ा हूं उन्हें डरना नहीं चाहिए पिंक और पिंक फ्लॉइड के बीच में वो कुछ भी पसंद कर सकता है अंधेरा ज्यादा हो तो वो भी डर सकता है क्योंकि वायलेंस उसके साथ भी हुआ है पेट्रिया की उसको भी गलत तरीके से छुआ है वो जल्दी बड़ा होने के बोझ के नीचे बड़ा होता है दिल उसका भी 300 ग्राम का ही होता है पर उस पर लोहे का सोशल कवर चढ़ा होता है उसे बस कार और गन के खिलौनों में मत बांधो जब वो बच्चा हो जरूरी नहीं कि ड्राइवर अच्छा हो, हो सकता है कि मशीनों के काम में थोड़ा कच्चा मर्द होने की इकलौती शर्त यही है कि सच्चा हो अब जरूरी नहीं कि मेरा पैशन गिटार हो कूल हो मेरे हाथ में लड़की के लिए फूल हो हो सकता है कि मेरे पास लंबी गाड़ी हो हो सकता है कि लाइफ की एक हर एक राइड पूल हो 
खाना पता है बच्चों को मैं भी संभालता हूँ थक के आती है तो जिंजर वाली चाय भी उबालता हूँ लड़का और लड़की में फर्क बहुत है और एक फर्क खूबसूरत है ये मैं जानता हूं पर फर्क करने को सबसे बड़ा गुनाह मानता हूं शायद इसीलिए इसीलिए अपने बेटे से कहता हूं कि जरूरी नहीं उनके लिए कुर्सी खींचना है गाड़ी का दरवाजा खोलना और जब कुछ गलत हो सबसे पहले बोलना क्योंकि सिक्स पैक से नहीं बनते हैं मत ना ज्यादा कमाने से बनते हैं ना चिल्लाने से ना आंसू छुपाने से बनते हैं किसी और को ठंड लगती है तो दिल उसका भी सर्द होता है कि जिसको दर्द होता है असल में वही मर्द होता है तू चाहे कारपेट पे सोए चाहे रेड कारपेट पे चले लेट मी टेल यू यू द मोस्ट पावरफुल एज लॉन्ग एज दे लिव्स जेंटलमैन No, but thank you to Sardeep and Himanshu. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing, mispronouncing um, your name, but thank you for, for working on the subs. I, mean, I believe it's Himanshu. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. Thoughts? Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. Mm. I uh, liked it. Yeah. Um, I, I just it. Um, <coughs> I wasn't as gripped with it in the way I was um, Kalki's. Yeah. Just because I think probably the presentation of it, it almost felt more like he was going to come out and do stand-up comedy versus poetry. Mm. Just just that a little bit. Um, also, one of the things I was thinking about while I was listening to it, and it's not its fault, was being a gentleman. So many of the things he was talking about, we only understand from a, a Western frame of reference and what yeah. it means to be a man here. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of this that goes completely beyond us because it's not anything we grew up with that Indian men and boys grow up with. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was the other thing, and it's not its own fault. I could resonate more with what Kalki was talking about because it had more universal connectivity for me. Mm -hmm. uh, not diminishing this, it just didn't. I had one line in there where I'm, I'm, I still think chivalry isn't dead. I still think that guys should pull out a chair and close well, the door. I don't think that was the point. Um, it's not the point, but he said it. So I had to, I had to say, for all the guys that still believe in chivalry, um, yeah, open the door and pull out the chair and let the ladies go first. Um, what about what did you think? I thought it was good. Yeah, I, I agree. I, the Kalki one obviously gripped me more, um, but the, I, I thought it was a good message for sure. And it uh, most of it was universal, not all. Yeah, obviously, like when you talked about they should die for us. That part, I'm assuming he, I don't know exactly what he's talking about. Maybe it's the thing in bottom uh, of I don't know. I don't. No, I think he meant. I think he meant. Um, the amount of things that happen where women are like should keep the honor well yeah i mean like i don't know if he was referring to this but because it's so much on the heels of the last movie we watched um you know women are literally killed all over the world for not fulfilling their family's expectations literally killed for it um and the line i really relate to is a woman shouldn't be afraid um when they see a man walking down the street toward her. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that's always really bothered me. I'm sure I've mentioned it here before of, I go out of my way, that if I'm walking down the street and there's a, a girl, I, I cross the street. So I'm not on the same side of the street as her because I don't, I don't know what she's experienced with men. I don't want her to be uncomfortable, if I can. I mean, if, if I'm walking to my car, I'm not gonna do something ridiculous. And I do say hello, but especially if it's at night. If I was walking down the street, if I was walking on your street here and it was night, and I'm walking toward a woman, I would cross the street so that she doesn't feel uncomfortable that a man is approaching her alone at night on the street. I just think that's common courtesy and common sense and to recognize. I think that'd be weirder. Ah, uh, no. To walk across the street rather than keep walking toward her? Or definitely I'd not walk behind a woman. Well, you shouldn't walk behind anybody. Hey, when people do that to me. I'm not talking about like that. I just mean in general. Hey, people walk. But. It bothers me. Um, it's interesting because I, be I believe our understanding of what it means to be a gentleman, I don't know what that is for a lot of Indian men because we just haven't been exposed to that. I know it from Miss Manners and really American and English culture. 
mm -hmm. what's proper table manners, what is the proper etiquette, what does a gentleman do. The universal things in there are definitive in regard to the man doesn't always have to be the hero. The man should not be afraid to show his emotions. It's mm -hmm. not, it's okay if your little boy likes to play with, you know, likes the color pink, uh, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. um, toxic masculinity being eradicated. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the, it was the main point of it. Yeah. Um, what was that? Yeah. Um, and I don't know, this is a grooming company as well. Oh, okay. I think the man right. company. Don't we have them here? We have something like that. Don't we? Forgot what it's called. It's not the man company. Like stuff for shaving your genitals or something? It's like everything for men. It's beard care. It's all stuff for men. Ball care. Ball care. Ooh. Powder. Down there, baby powder. Yeah. Ball care. You ever do that? Take care of my balls? No, put like baby powder on your balls? No. My dad used to do that. Yeah. A lot of men still do it. Oh, it was weird. Yeah. I mean, me, me too. I see guys do it at the gym. I have a lot of thoughts that go through my mind when guys do that. <laughs> Not that y'all want to know about my dad's ball care. But... Yeah, true. Or, or ours, for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this became weird. But you do know that we don't put talcum powder down there. There you go. Or Probably didn't need to know that. Sometimes turmeric powder, though. I like it spicy. <laughs>